Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. This is Anne Turnbull. I am coming to you tonight with day 89 of the 90 day run. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We made it through 90 days. If you have been with us- of the 90 day run. If you have been with us uh, every step of the way, then congratulations. Fantastic. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm really excited for you. If you are you know, in and out here and there, it's okay. Remember, no blame, no guilt, no shame, um, nothing like that. All right. But tonight we are going to be talking about launching your new business partner, launching your new distributor. Now, remember, this training is here. So you can go back, you can do a 90 day run anytime. You can go back to parts that you felt were um, exciting or parts that you missed and watch them again or watch them for the first time. So um, the training is here. It's a resource for you. So tonight, day 89, we are going to be talking about launching your new business partner. This is really, really important because this is where the duplication starts. This is where you are actually starting to build that team that is going to set a solid foundation and start to replicate and start to grow and start to have your business really, really soar. So let's talk about a few things. Now, remember, the first thing you want to be doing with your new business partner is having a crucial conversation. We've talked about that in previous uh, parts of our 90 day run, previous parts of our training. So you want to be having that crucial conversation, letting your new business partner know that, you know, your job is to help them become independent as quickly as possible, because that's the way they are going to grow their business. You know, do they think that that is a worthy goal and how long would they like that to take? Now, you're also going to be talking to them about working by assignment that you will be working with them personally, you'll be giving them your personal time and attention to guide them every step of the way, as long as you know that they are willing, coachable and hungry. And if they're willing, coachable and hungry, then you'll be working with them based on assignments and you will know that they're willing, coachable and hungry because they do the assignments. And if they don't do them and if they don't have questions and if they don't give any feedback, then maybe either the assignments are too hard or, maybe they're not quite ready to build their business. In that case, you let them know, it's fine, it's your business, it's no problem, but that means I'm going to leave you to the group training, the group resources, and we won't be spending personal time together because maybe you're not quite ready for uh, building your business in that focused way yet. And so that's a crucial conversation. Now, here's what you really want to do, okay? You want to launch your new business partner with three, three, um, three strategies, all right? Number one is fast. You want them to get some fast results, okay? That's critical, fast results. Number two is easy, okay? Make it easy for them to get those results. And number three, keep it simple. Keep it simple. So let's take a look at what those three things mean. So number one, fast, okay? You want them to have, to build belief fast in the product. You want them to get a product experience right away or have someone around them get a product experience so that the belief is built very quickly in the product. Ideally, you want them to get their first customer fast. You want them to get their first business partner fast. Um, make their first commission, even if it's small, even if it's tiny, make their first commission, make some money. Even if it's a dollar, you still want them to make some money quickly, okay? And then get their first rank advancement, whatever that is, you know, it's just some, the smallest thing could be as small as, you know, um, you're becoming a senior associate. Um, so those are things that you want your new business partner to experience quickly. Okay, as quickly as possible. So that's the fast part of it. So remember, we're talking about fast, we're talking about easy, and we're talking about simple. So the easy part, you are there to give them help and support. That's your job. You need to make it easy for them at the beginning. Okay, don't throw them into the deep end and hope they can swim 
your job is to give them help to make sure they don't drown to make sure that it, it, it feels so simple you're giving them a little a little um life jacket so they're just floating happily along the surface all right that's what you want to be doing for your new associate so you're going to be giving them tools all right tools that make their job easy you're going to be giving them scripts what to say um, when when you're talking to someone new what exactly is it do you say what do you send to them okay even you may want to give them social media posts they can make now i know uh, for many of us we are not necessarily um we're still working at becoming amazing at our social media right and so that would be a great thing if you're great at social media and you have posts that really work for you then give them some social media posts that they can also be making. So fast, easy, and the last one is simple. Now here's something really interesting, all right? We've always taught make a big list, right? Get your notebook, get your diary, make a list of at least 300 people. You have thousands of people in your contacts on your social media. Start with a list of at least 300 people, even 100 people. But here's the thing, how many people actually do that? Okay, not that many, not that many. And so interestingly enough, all right, this is what we're learning in the accelerator program. And of course, we always adapt, we always refine, we always get better. And we always learn from what's working in today's world. Today, something that's working is short and simple, right? Think about social media, the short videos, less than 60 seconds, that's what people want. Um, it's not the long drawn out, you know, video, it's short, short, short. So we want to keep our um, new business partner strategy short and simple as well. And that's why we've actually just changed our getting started right, simple, um, one page, how to do your business. We've changed it from writing 300 names. Now, what we're suggesting is to keep it simple write your five best three to five best your very best three to five potential customers three to five potential business partners and three to five supporters okay so what you want to now ask your new associate your new business partner to do is get their notebook or diary for their for their business for sure and write down their very best potential customers, potential business partners, and best supporters in their life, okay? Customers will come from their best customers and their best supporters. So I'll give you, I'll give you a, a little story it just happened to me today. So I'm here in Kenya. Uh, we're working in a new market. We had some events this weekend. They were amazing. And I met with one lady who stayed behind after. She was really excited by everything she saw. She came to the special training for how to build your business. She's ready to go, but she's not in a very good financial position right now. But she can see that this is something that will completely change her life. And so she's really excited by it. So we talked about the five best potential customers. You know, who comes to your mind right now? She said her mom and her dad, she told me what their issues were. And then five best um, business partners and five best um, supporters. Well, her mom and her dad fit into the supporters and also into the people that would need the product. So she actually came back today. This was just last night that we were talking. She came back today. Her mom and her dad have paid for products already. She's got her money for registration. She's ready to go. So when you teach someone to write down their five best potential customers, their five best potential business partners, and their five best potential. Now you can say three to five or just five. I'm going with five. I always like to go with a bit more than a bit less. Maybe I'll have to you know, ratchet it down a little bit more, but three to five is okay. In our getting started right, you'll see your best five, okay? So so now when you're, when you're going to a customer, of course, we know how to talk to customers, right? You keep it very simple. Listen, um, I, I, I've just learned of a new product. Uh, it's from the US. It's really helping people with your health issue. I think it will be very, very amazing for you. I'm putting money together. I want to place an order with the company. And I think that this would be a big benefit to you as well. If I send you some information, would you look at it? 
and then you can add your money to what I'm doing and I can get you some products as well. Okay, for a best supporter, these are people that love you, that appreciate you, that only want your success, that are going to cheer you on every step of the way, could be family, could be friends, people who love you and want to see you successful. Those people, you're going to go to them, you're going to appreciate them for who they are in your life, appreciate them. Wow, um, you have always been there for me. I know that you, you care so much about me. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that in you. You've really meant a lot to me in my life. And then you share your story. You know what? Um, I've always been looking for what I could do to really achieve the impact I know I can make in the world, to really reach the heights I know I can get to in this world. And I think I finally found it. I'm so excited. It's a U.S. company. Um, the products are incredible. Oh my goodness, they're really changing people's lives. And the mentorship I'm going to get, the, the business acumen I'm going to get, the impact I'm going to make, and there's a lot of money to be made as well, and I'm really excited by it. Now, I don't need you to join this business, but I would really love your support in just being my customer for a month and giving me your feedback on our products. Would you support me by being my customer for a month? It would mean the world to me. Okay, that's how you talk to your best supporters. That's how you also find customers. So you can start making some money and also getting some testimonies, building that belief. And then of course, the five best business partners, those are people you can call up because they are your best prospective business partners. You probably know them pretty well. Um, if you don't know them, there are other strategies you can, you can use to, to, to uh, connect with them. But if you know them pretty well, you can call them up. You can say, you know what? You know, I've always been looking for something I could be doing that would give me more income, that would help me really reach my potential in life. And I, I found it and I'm excited. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And you know, when I thought about who I would most love to partner with in this project, you are the first person that came to my mind. Can you imagine what we could do together if we actually teamed up our efforts? You would be amazing in this business. I think it's something you should look at. If you like it, fantastic. We'll do incredible things together. If you don't like it, it's fine. It's no problem. But I think you should at least look at it. If I sent you something that would explain what this company is all about, what we're doing, would you look at it? Then we can talk again. Okay, so something simple like that. So fast, easy, and simple. That's what you want to focus on for your new business partner. Now, here's something so interesting. I want you to write this down because it's going to really play with your mind. People will not start a race that they don't think they can finish. I'm gonna repeat that again. People will not start a race that they don't think they can finish. So think about it. If you ask someone to run a marathon, I don't even know how long a marathon is. I know I couldn't do it, but whatever it is, 26 miles or 26 kilometers, or I'm not sure, it's a long way. If you ask someone to run a marathon and they've never even run you know, around the block, do you think they're going to start running that marathon? No, they don't even, they know they can't finish it. They know they can't even run around the block, let alone a marathon. So when we ask people to do too much, they're not even going to get started because it just seems so much and so impossible. So we wanna keep it super simple, super simple so that people can grow their confidence, people can grow their skills, people can grow their knowledge, people can continue to learn, all right? So keep it small. Now, we want our people to have small wins. And that small win could be the littlest thing. Like for example, I have someone who, who's starting in, in the business. He hasn't even paid yet. He's got to find the money. He's raising the money, but he's starting to talk to people. And he sent me a screenshot of the first message that he sent to someone. And I honestly couldn't believe it. It was like he had been in network marketing forever. It was so amazing. Now I had given him the tools. I had already showed him all of our messages. I'd given them all to him. I told him what to say in a first conversation, what to send. So he had all those tools. But when I saw what he did, it was fantastic. 
I was amazed. I said, oh my goodness, you are a rock star. Are you kidding me? Have you done this before? You didn't tell me. And I called him. I was so excited. He said, no, I've never done it before, but you know, was it okay? I said, are you kidding me? It was fantastic. Oh my goodness. You are going to be amazing in this business. So I celebrated him. He's not even in the business yet. Find every little win to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Just like the young lady who had her parents pay for products already. Are you kidding me? I called her. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Less than 24 hours. You are amazing. You're going to be, you're going to be so fantastic. And she is right? But people need to be celebrated. They need to grow their confidence. They need to know, yes, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. So find little wins you can celebrate with your people. All right. Celebrate them publicly if you can. That's also very, very good. So remember, um, think about a premature baby. Okay. You have a preemie. A premature baby is just born. All right, their only goal, the only goal for the doctor, for the family, for that baby is to stay alive one more day. And once they've stayed alive for one more day, guess what the next goal is? Stay alive for one more day. And then again, and then again. And that is our job. Keep our new business partners, our preemies, our babies alive for one more day. And then one more day again, and then a week, and then a month, and then 90 days. Our job is to help and support them so that they can stay alive. And then eventually they can learn, they can grow, and they can start to walk and run on their own. Not only that, they can start to teach people what they know. But our job is to hold their hands and teach them and support them and make sure that they just stay alive for one more day. So start thinking that way with your new business partners. Have the crucial conversation. Make it fast. Make it easy. Make it simple and help them stay alive for one more day, then one more day again, then one more day, celebrate them every step of the way until they can grow, until they can thrive on your own. If you follow this, I know that you and your team are going straight to the top. And I can't wait to celebrate you at the top when you get there. Have an awesome day. We are going to have a fantastic workshop tomorrow. We have our accelerator leaders who are going to share a full workshop's worth of launching your new distributor, launching your new business partner, as well as John Maxwell with the leadership session. So have a fantastic night. Thank you for being here. And we will see you again tomorrow. Okay, bye.